Hello everyone, this is Kushagra. Welcome to our YouTube channel Left Town. If you like the content, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. So you'll be seeing a series of videos required for you to get a good understanding of web development. So our today's topic is link and images. In the previous video, we have understood a detailed description about what is head tag, various types of head tag, paragraph tag, your self closing tag such as your HR, BR and uh, we have also understood about strong and emphasize what is the difference between strong and bold emphasize and it all like we have seen all other things in the previous video if you have not watched my previous video do watch that because in the upcoming video i would be using all the things and all the detailed knowledge which i have given you in the previous video so i would highly recommend you to go back and watch my previous video if you have not watched it i would also be placing the link in the description as well to watch that so let without wasting time let's just start so let me just quickly create one uh, html file that is your link and image dot html so this is how i've created one uh, html file and let me just quickly add the boilerplate code just a second students let me just quickly add a boilerplate code so as you can see the html boilerplate code is ready in the previous videos comment section i was going through yesterday so i found that students are asking what do you mean by boilerplate code so as you can see this is the html template which has given auto generated by your emit so this auto generated html template is known as your html boilerplate code students so let me just move ahead and let me just quickly add our first link that to add a link we basically use your uh, anchor tag and in the anchor tag href attribute we basically specify the link to which uh, we want to link our html page so let me just quickly link to our devtown website so let me just quickly add the link of the devtown and let me just quickly say go to dev town so as you can see i have added one anchor tag and i have added the href attribute and i've added a link to our dev town website and i have written that go to dev town so let us go back to our browser and let us see like how this basically works let me just refresh it oh i think it's i've not opened it with live server let me just open it with live server yeah as you can see it is showing go to the dev town and whenever i am clicking on go to the dev town it's taking me to the official dev town website as you can see the official web dev town website is loaded and you can see sure yes sir image as well so this is the official dev town website student so let me just quickly back move back to our code vs code and let me just quickly add a few more in links let me just quickly add a link to your flipkart website https colon double slash flipkart dot com and let me just type go to flipkart so this is how i've added the flipkart let me just quickly add to amazon as well amazon dot in and let me just type go to amazon as you can see let me just quickly move back to the browser let me just move back and let me just refresh as you can see you go to flipkart it's taking me to the flipkart website and whenever i'm clicking back and go clicking on go to amazon it's taking me to the amazon website so that's how you add uh, your external link so let me just tell you like let me just add a break tag so it looks little bit clean let me just shift back as you can see the links are coming in the new line now and it's looking little bit beautiful so now as you can observe students whenever i'm clicking on this link and whenever i'm coming back to the page it's looking little bit in a purple color and in the beginning whenever i have not clicked on the link it's looking in blue color so 
that's how it happens so whenever you go on to the google as well and if you have searched any kind of a link you would be observing that whenever you come back it's look in a purple color and initial in the beginning it's in blue color so that's how the link operates and it's the basic properties of the link so uh, let me just quickly tell you one more thing let now it's time to tell you also the uh, difference between uh, tag and what what is the attribute as well so let me just quickly tell you what is the tag and what is the attribute so as you can see this body tag your head tag your title tag and your meta and your html these all things are your attribute students this anchor is also an at uh, sorry tag but uh, this href your name your http eq eq uiv your care set your content and all other things are your attribute this meta title head body these all things are your tag so what does attributes basically do attributes basically add a particular property to your tag so as you can see this href tag is adding a property that if you want to link to another website so you have to specify a particular link so this uh, href attribute is adding a link to this anchor tag now let me say if i want like as you can see by default whenever i'm clicking on this link like go to dev town it's opening in the same window if you want to open it in the another window say by default whenever you click on this link it should open it in another window you can do it by this as well like right click open link in new window and it will open it in new window but you want to do it by default so how to do that so you need to add a, another attribute say target and you have to specify it as underscore blank so whenever you add this attribute your uh, link will open automatically in the new window instead of your instead in the same window so let me just quickly show you as you can see i've clicked on the go to the dev town and it's now opening in the another window it's not loading because of some internet issues as you can see it's already loaded and you can see the official dev town website so let me just quickly add this attribute to go to the flipkart and amazon as well and let me just quickly tell you another thing like just press alt and whenever you press as you can see i'm having two cursor now like first at the line number 11 and second at the line number 12 so if you want to add a multiple cursors you can do it by pressing alt and then just clicking let me just quickly add it in the over line number 13 as well and line number 14 so as you can see this is how you add a multiple cursor let me just remove it and add it to the line number 11 and 12 because i would be adding an attribute over there only let me just move back and add it one over here and one over here let me just add a space and type target equal to underscore blank so as you can see i've uh, added the attribute to flipkart and your amazon and now these all links would also be opening in your new window so this is how you link the uh, external link or your external file so if you want to link to your uh, internal html file then how you will do it so let me just quickly tell you that as well so i have ha i'm having your previous html file open in my window so i would be linking it to index2.html because i think index.html doesn't have in your body tag so let me just quickly link it with index2.html so let me just go back and type go to index2.html and let me just add it like index yeah as you can see it's giving me suggestion as well like if you want to link it to index.html or index2.html so i will select index2.html and i will shift back and i'll as you can see the index2.html is open let me just go back as you can see index i'm going back clicking on it index2.html is opening so that's all about the uh, linking of the tag and your anchor tag and if you want to add any kind of an image how to do it 
so let me just quickly add a comment how to link internal as well as external link into your HTML file so this is how you link your internal as well as your external link so now I would be telling you how to add an image how to add a image in the HTML file so to add an image you would be needing an image tag so image tag basically has your two attribute that is your src and your alt in the src we basically specify the link of your image and in the alt tag suppose this image is not loaded because of the low internet connection or it's not available at the server side so at that time this alt uh, tag would be displayed so let me just say like def town dot jpg uh, as you can see in my folder there is nothing image or like there is no kind of an image say dev town dot jpg so i would be telling like this is the logo of dev town so but there is no dev town dot jpg image so at this time like now you would be seeing this is the logo of the dev town because there is no image like like that dev town dot jpg in my folder so as you can see this is the logo of the dev town you can see this is the logo of the dev town so that's how you can see the alt tag uh, works if the image is not there or the image is not loaded in this case the alt uh, the thing or the sentence which you have written in the alt attribute would be displayed uh, you can type anything over there you can just give like lorem as well lorem 23 or any anything any kind of a thing like that it will work but yeah let me just quickly this is the logo of the dev town so that's how it works so let me just quickly add an another source let me just quickly uh, copy the one image let me just quickly copy this image only uh, I don't think so I can copy it so let me just go to the Google images just a second let me go to the images let me just copy the link to this image let me just shift back to my vs code and add a link to this let me just press alt z and let me just add this this is the image of google let me just shift back towards my window i think it's not loading let me just click and this and copy the link for this let me just shift back let me just delete this let me just add this mm, these links are not working i don't know why so let me just go to another website that is your s-o-u-r-c source source splash this is your like this is a particular very good website that provides you the image link so let me just go back to this and add the image just a second it's loading oh yeah mm, let me just check with this whether it's working or not why this images is not loading let me just check it with the like over here i think might be this is the issue with the live server let me just go with this 
Oh, it's not working in the live server as well. I think it's the issue with this only. Let me just go back to the source splash and <coughs> yeah the website is loading let me just add let me just copy image link and let me just first check whether the image is loaded or not yeah the image is getting loaded let me just quickly add this let me just shift back to the browser yeah as you can see the image is added so there was some issue with the link and the image is getting added so that's how you add the image in your image tag or if you want to add any kind of a let me just this is the image of nature so this this is how you add and if you want to specify a width you can do it by here as well like let me just say width as 100 and height as 50 so let me just go back yeah let me just shift it as you can see the image is adjusted accordingly but this is not the good programming practice you should adjust the width and height with the help of your css only so that's all for the day students thank you